In this video, I'm going to cover the process for creating a vaulted ceiling. There are two approaches you can use. One is to create a cathedral ceiling where the ceiling will follow the underside of the roof. The other approach is to use a custom ceiling plane to create any slope or curved ceilings. Let's go into the program and take a look. Now I have open a simple example with a gable roof and the roof is a 6 and 12 pitch. First type of vaulted ceiling you can create is a cathedral ceiling and that's where you remove the flat ceiling out of the room and then the ceiling will follow the underside of the roof. The way you can do that is click inside the room, click on the open button. On the structure panel inside the room specification you can come down and remove the flat ceiling out of the room. As you can see this is a typical cathedral ceiling where again the ceiling will simply follow the underside of the roof. Now the next step is to create a manual ceiling plane that can be of any slope or curve. In this case our roof is at 6 and 12 and I want to create a vault that is different than the roof pitch. Let's say 3 and 12. I'm going to go through the process to show you how to use the manual ceiling planes and then we'll also go through and curve those ceiling planes. To create custom ceiling planes you do this in your floor plan view. On the left hand side of the screen I'm going to come up into my menu system and you're going to find the custom ceiling tool in your menu. When you use this tool I encourage you not to be too precise as you begin. Let's go ahead and go through the steps. Click on the ceiling plane tool. I'm going to come down. I'm going to pick up a snap and notice that I'm on the inside of the wall. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hold my left mouse button down and I'm going to click and drag along this wall. I'm going to release my mouse, pull it up slope and then click. That creates the initial ceiling plane. You may not be seeing that in the section view because when you draw a ceiling it comes in at the same slope as your default roof and in this case my default roof is 6 and 12. Let's go ahead and double click and open up the ceiling plane. Inside of the ceiling dialog you're going to notice the pitch and also some settings for the heights. First thing I want to do is make sure that we change the pitch. Notice that the current lock option is set at the inside of the wall this is a 10 foot ceiling so the default of this wall right in here where my mouse is is at about 10 feet. I'm going to make sure that's locked. That's where the ceiling plane will pivot about. Let's go ahead and change this to 3 and 12 and then we'll close the dialog. At this point I can go ahead and reshape this ceiling plane to expand the entire shape of the room and then click on the edge. You can pull that up to the point of the vault. It will snap into that section. You could copy and reflect this around the room and then be done. But I'm going to go through the step one more time. Let's go ahead and select the ceiling plane tool. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to click along the edge, pick up the snap, pull it up slope, and there's a ceiling. Again, because it comes in at the default setting of the roof, I need to come in and change the pitch to 3 and 12. At this point, you can easily drag this up and join the two ceilings. Now it could be that you're in a situation where you have a varying slope between the two ceiling planes. Let's pull this back just a little bit and I'm going to change the slope of this to be at 4 and 12 so we can kind of demonstrate the example. At this point those two intersection points will not be in the midpoint of the roof. If you drag this up to the midpoint of the roof you can see that you have a slight gap right in the middle of the room program has built into it a join tool that will automatically join any of your operations for roofs or ceilings. Let's just pull this back. Notice that my selected edge right here where my mouse is is highlighted in red. That means it's the active edge out of all four of the edges. You're going to find a join tool down in your lower edit menu. It's called join roof planes. Join roof planes, join ceiling planes. It's the same tool. I'm going to click on that tool and now I'm going to come up and highlight the next edge. You see a snap indicator and then when I click it will automatically join that ceiling where the two intersect. So you can use this tool for complex or more sophisticated styles of slopes. I'm going to press the undo a couple of times and let's go back to the 3 and 12 situation. Ceiling planes can be curved. To curve the ceiling plane I'm going to hold my shift key down and I'm going to click on both ceiling planes. Notice the highlight is now in gray indicating that when I did a shift click it selected two objects. I'm going to come down and click the open button in the lower left hand section of my menu. 
toward the bottom of the ceiling plane specification, you're going to find the option to curve your ceilings. At the ridge, which is the point right in the middle here, I'm going to change the degree of slope to zero. Press the tab key. It will then show you the calculation at the eave out here in this direction. When I close the dialog, you can see the effect of creating that barrel shaped ceiling. Using the custom ceiling planes, you can create a variety of different ceiling styles. Please refer to our other videos, our built-in help system, and our support articles to learn more about how to use custom ceilings and create vaulted ceilings. Thanks for watching the video.